In test one of experiment seven, eight standards that contain fluoride were made, ranging from one ppm to hundred ppm. So the, the fluoride concentration in ppm should be recorded here, and each standard had a corresponding cell potential, and you can either leave them in millivolts or volts. That's your choice. And for untreated well water, um, we also tested uh, the cell potential. So either leave it in millivolts or volts and record it here. For people who have um, well water sample one and two, um, the fluoride concentration was already very, very low, so um, there was no reason to actually treat or remediate it, uh, um, the well water samples. So you can, if you have well water number one or two, just, just type non-applied here. But for people who had a uh, well water sample number three, um, the fluoride level was actually uh, higher, so you, um, uh, remediation was required. So uh, make sure you record the cell potential after um, the well water was uh, remediated and, um, and record the cell potential here. And uh, you need a graph for task one. Uh, graph the cell potential versus the log of the fluoride in ppm. So take the eight standards and use the values to graph and um, obtain the Linus values. And after you find out, after you uh, graph cell potential versus log of fluoride in ppm, then you can look for the fluoride um, concentration in the untreated well water sample. So, so you have a value here, which is obviously the y value because the y axis is uh, the observed cell potential. And uh, if you know the linear equation, you have the slope, you have the y-intercept, and the y-value, we can solve for x, which is log of fluoride. So obviously, we don't want the log. So to get rid of the log, you can just do 10 to the whatever x-value you, you uh, calculated, and which will give you the fluoride concentration for the untreated well water and and there's a plus minus sign uh, after this value so make sure you use equation 3 on page 154 so uh, in order to calculate the value here you need um, all the alignments values all the uncertainties and standard error and just plug in the values and you should be able to obtain this value here and for the fluoride in the remediated sample so for those of you who um, didn't have to treat or remediate water uh, then you don't need to do this part um, but for those of you who has sample number three then you have a cell potential value here and you you will apply the same approach now you have the y value which is the cell potential you have um, the slope y intercept so for x and x is obviously a log of fluoride concentration in ppm so uh, whatever x value you have here do 10 to the whatever x value you should be able to find uh, the fluoride concentration specifically for the remediated sample and after the plus and minus sign 
again use equation 3 on page 154 and plugging all the Linus values and the um, y value which is here and you should be able to find this value here so for the percent reduction of fluoride after remediation you can use this example here so you have to do the you, you have to calculate the difference between the fluoride in the untreated well water minus um, the fluoride concentration in the remediated sample divided by um, the original concentration which is untreated well water um, or the fluoride concentration in the untreated well water sample multiplied by a hundred percent so only for those of you who have sample number three because obviously for those of you who have sample number one and two you didn't have the treated or remediated well water uh, sample so so there's no way you can calculate the uh, percent reduction so that's for task one so let's move on to task two so in task two you uh, tested iron 2 plus slash iron 3 plus so um, so here you prepared six standards ranging from 0.1 ppm to 1.5 ppm and uh, make sure you filled in the uh, concentration for each standard and for each standard you prepare you you um, measure the absorbance using the spectrophotometer so make sure you record it them that record those uh, absorbance values here and and for the untreated well water sample of course there's the absorbance value as well so record it here and um, so for um, the lambda max, uh, you should have this value from the spectrophotometer when you are um, measuring the absorbance. And for graph, so you have to graph absorbance versus the concentration of iron in ppm. So uh, the six, uh, graph the six standards. So uh, those are the y values and those are the x values. And after you graph, uh, you should be able to obtain the Linus values. So, uh, if you remember, if you graph absorbance versus uh, concentration, you can, uh, according to Beer's law, um, the slope would be the epsilon value at that specific wavelength. So, this part is simply the slope of the graph okay so next iron 3 plus in the well water sample specifically the, the untreated well water sample so um, you have the absorbance which is the y value you have um, you have the slope so and y intercept so from um, those values you should be able to calculate the x value which is the concentration of uh, iron 3 plus here and we're gonna use the same approach for the remediated sample but this time the absorbance here should be uh, a different value a different y value and uh, which will lead to a different x value and you can record it here and uh, for the value after the plus and minus sign use equation 5 on page 155 again um, it's, uh, it's similar to this equation here uh, you have to plug in uh, the Linus values all the uncertainties and the standard error and the y values y intercept uh, slope and after plugging all the values you should be able to find the values here and the approach for percent reduction of iron 3 plus is um, actually the same as um, uh, fluoride you're gonna uh, subtract 
the concentration uh, before and after um, the well water is treated and divided by the iron 3 plus concentration uh, for the untreated well water and of course it's percent reduction so multiply by 100 percent and that should be able to um, you should be able to find the percent reduction of iron 3 plus uh, after remediation.